All right, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about how to prevent migrate fresh from happening on a production server. But first up, I have some important news. Uh, you can actually support this channel by buying me a coffee a month um, over at my Patreon. So yeah, I'll put the link in the description down below. It's much appreciated. It's only one one coffee a month. So, and I, yeah, I really like to drink coffee. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And let's dive into it and have a look how to disable Migrate Fresh on production. Here we go. All right, so we have our demo application here that we have been using for yeah the last few tutorials. And we're actually going to prevent the Migrate Fresh from happening. So, um, First of all, we're going to go into the routes folder and actually I'm going to quickly open a terminal. So a new terminal here. Um, let me close this one. All right. So, uh, so PHP artisan migrate, migrate fresh is something that we yeah done a few times before, right? But we want to disable this when we're on a production server. So let's go into routes and then console.php because yeah this is a console whoops let me just uh, quickly pull this down and there we go and in here we have uh, a listener for command uh, PHP, uh, artisan command inspire and it prints out a comment of inspire quote right so let's actually uh, expand this file with uh, an if statement and well, we're only going to prevent it from happening when we're on a production server. So we're going to go for app um, environment, environment, um, and the environment must be set to production, production. There we go. And in here, I want to listen for an artisan and it's an artisan command. And it's called migrate fresh. And I want a function to be executed. And in this function, I want uh, a comment of, yeah, just a sentence like, sorry, mate, um, uh, we're on a production, whoops, production server. We can't, whoops can't allow this action there you go and I actually want um, a description so a describe of this action uh, of actually of the preventing of this action uh, prevent this from happening on a production server there we go and I have an error because I am missing a semicolon over here all right so if I open this up again, there we go, PHP artisan. And if I look up the command, uh, migrate fresh here, it's drop all tables and rerun all migrations. Well, if I actually go into the environment file and I change the app env from local to production, and I do this again, PHP artisan, and here, migrate fresh, and something is production. Oh, I had a typo here, you see? Production, it's actually production. And if I run this again, whoops. All right, describe, oh, of course it's describe, right? There we go. Um, and now, actually, when we go into migrate, migrate fresh, prevent this from happening on a production server. All right, so when I actually go and write PHP artisan migrate fresh, sorry, mate, we're, whoops, I made a typo here. Yeah, you know what I meant, right? We're on a production server, and actually, oh my God, I, can, I really can't type anymore. So product, oh, let me just correct this. Production server. There we go. Sorry, mate, we're on a production server. We can't allow this action. So that's how I like to prevent this action from happening on production servers when in our projects at our company. Um, I think this is quite handy, certainly if you're working with a big team. Um, 
and yeah you just want to make sure that nothing happens um, and i'm really sorry for my writing i'm really tired so yeah see you in the next one bye bye